Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today, we are talking about removing YouTube recommendations. So if you're anything like me, you go on YouTube and you're like, wow, what should I look at today? And YouTube, with its great algorithm, will suggest you a bunch of videos and then you're hooked on a YouTube binge watch like four hours until you're like, wait a second, what was I doing here in the first place? And the reason you got on YouTube was to learn something like you want to learn how to make lo-fi beats or something like that, but then you just got hooked. So today, we are going to remove the YouTube recommendations and try to make it less appealing so we can utilize the better parts of YouTube where you can search and have all these search results in the YouTube database so you can learn things while also not getting addicted to the endless scrolling. So let's get right into it. All right, I'm back at it with this setup. So let me switch to here. So what we're going to do first is I'm actually going to include in the description down below the link to this uh, extension, which is unhook, unhook, remove YouTube recommended videos to so go to this. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to add this to Chrome. It's going to remove recommended videos and there's so many other things that we're going to explore. So let's, let's do it right now. I'm going to add extension. I need to block that <laughs> all right so now it's saying hi okay you installed this okay cool now let's go to YouTube all right here we go okay so let's go to the YouTube recommendations right here we're gonna look at our this is the screen that we get when we open that extension up okay so the first thing you see here is probably the best feature it hides the home page so if I click it, oh, everything is gone. It's great. And so when you open YouTube up, you can go straight to the search bar, search whatever you need, learn something, and you won't get caught in the scrolling on the home page, on the home feed. And so if I go to a video, look over here, I don't want to get recommended. So here we go. We go to remove YouTube recommendations. We go hide video sidebar and we click that one and it's gone. Whoa, whoa, this is insane. Okay, what you can also do is it says hide live chat here, hide playlists, live chat for live streams, hide playlists, like YouTube can compile a playlist for you and or one of your own playlists or someone else's playlist, so you can hide that, hide fundraisers and the transcript and chapters. And then if I go to the end, I get these, right? So subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Um, and then these are more videos that I put on for my end screen. And so what I can do is hide this, wait, hide the end screen cards. And so it deletes this. So you won't be able to access the cards on the video. And it's kind of ironic because I'm on YouTube. I'm on a YouTube channel and I'm telling you not to watch. I, I don't even know, but it's helpful for productivity. So that's what we're doing. Um, hide end screen video wall. So if I go all the way, if I play this, there's no desktop audio, okay. So this, this thing, let's look at that. What we're gonna do, unhook, hides it. Easy as that, let's go. All right, hide comments. Look, it's my own face. Wow, I'm blurry. It's okay, it's okay. I'm blurry guy. And then we're gonna go we're back to hide comments, okay? I have one comment. He, I got a new subscriber. It's great. It's great. Let's look at here. Hide the comments. Whoa! You can hide the comments. You you don't watch the video, and after that, you look at the comments to see what is relatable. You watch the video, you learn something, and you go do it. So that's why you would want to hide the comments. And so there's other ones like hide the mixed radio list, which of course is like the compilation of all the music that you that you like and then sometimes they toss in some new music for you to enjoy but you can hide that here you can hide merch ticket offers you can hide the video info which is basically the description and the likes and everything whoa that's insane but it also gets gets rid of the title so you should probably know the title before um, but you can remove that you can remove so let's go back to the home page 
And what happens is after you hide the homepage feed, you can re redirect to subscriptions. So this is all my, these are all my subscriptions. And so you can re redirect to subscriptions or you can go all the way down to hide subscriptions and it hides them on here on the recommended homepage. But also if you look at it again from here on the top left. So you hide subscriptions, everything's gone there. And what happens here, if we keep going down, hide top header. This is the search bar, the YouTube logo, everything up here. So if you click that, it's gone. You kind of want the search bar though, so maybe don't click that. I'll, I'll show you my optimal setup. Um, at the end of the video so high notifications this is the the bell over here that is no notifications you know YouTube channels are like click the bell for notifications you, you guys should too but then I'm telling you to delete it this video is just ironic I don't even know okay hide left sidebar extra so it's this sidebar on the left right here so more from YouTube YouTube premium movie shows those are extra things that you don't really need I don't really use it on a daily basis when I'm using YouTube so hide the extra stuff and then hide in app search results I don't really know what this feature does so I'm not gonna use it hide trending and explore explore is on the left over here and so I don't really use it but so I guess that's why I'm gonna hide it so now this left sidebar is only left to here because my subscriptions were deleted by the left sidebar extra so they're gone there maybe you want to turn it on if you want to see your subs but that is your choice okay what is next what is next disable autoplay of course autoplay is when you resign to the video and then youtube suggests another video and says oh we're gonna play this in seven seconds and then you have like seven seconds to cancel so this will disable it. Yay, that's what it is. Disable annotations. Um, annotations aren't really mainstream anymore on the YouTube platform, but you can do that also and disable playlists. And that's all. Cool. So my ideal setup. So my ideal setup is, so we'll hide everything here. I want that top header, I'm not gonna hide everything. Um, hide notifications, and let's see, let's see, let's see. Hide subs. I don't really know if I want subs or not, so it's kind of up to you. I'm gonna say I don't want it. All I want is the search bar, I wanna search something, I wanna learn something, and then quickly get out of there without getting hooked by a video, thumbnail, title, anything else. So that's what I want to do. And yeah, this is my ideal setup right here. That would conclude this video. This is how you remove recommendations. And I hope if you are getting too distracted by YouTube, going on YouTube, doing any like binge watching sprees on YouTube, uh, content aggregation, then I highly recommend this. Other than that, this is the end of the video. I'll see you later.